Oh my god guys, welcome to another video. Today's video tutorial is going to be very very helpful. But before we continue with the video guys, it's very helpful to me and for the oh my god community to grow, for you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you find this video useful, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and again, subscribe. Let's begin. Oh my god. Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be understanding what are opposite numbers and how do they work. So let's begin. So on the left, we have a number 12 and we have a number to the right, minus 12. We have already learned the concept of the absolute value of both being 12, the same number, but positive. But what about opposite numbers? What does that mean? We will learn that in this video. So guys, the first thing we have to know when understanding what are opposite numbers is the definition, right? So the definition of opposite numbers are numbers that are in opposite positions on the number line, whose distance to zero is the same. So we have already seen this when whenever we talk about absolute value, right? So let's take a look at the number line. Whenever we have the number line, we have again zero and we have positive numbers and we also have negative numbers to the left. Now, it's pretty important to remember that in the number line, we knew from before that one and minus one are both an equal distance from zero. And that's the reason that both their absolute values are the same, right? So we know that the absolute value of minus 1 is going to be 1, and that the absolute value of 1 is also going to be 1. Because, because the absolute value of a number is that same number, and we don't take into account its sign, right? So we know that the absolute value of minus 100 is 100 and that the absolute value of 100 is still 100 because the distance from 0 is the same. So we're going to take a look at what it says when understanding the concept or the definition of opposite numbers. So they are in opposite positions whose distance to 0 is the same. So we have exactly the same thing. Whenever we have a number like 3, and we see the distance from zero, we know that the distance is going to be of three steps, right? And when we go also to three, its distance from zero is going to be also three. What that means, guys, is that the absolute value of plus three is three, and the absolute value of minus three is also three. That means that they are away from zero, the same exact distance, meaning that the opposite value of 3 is minus 3. So the opposite value of 100 is minus 100. Do you see where I'm going here? Well, the opposite value of a number is going to be that same number but the contrary sign right the opposite sign so whenever we have a number like a hundred and we want to find the opposite number it's simply going to be that same number with the opposite sign so for example if we have a number like 29 or minus 29 the opposite of that number is going to be positive 29 and that doesn't even just work for normal numbers. It also works for any type of number, like decimals. 0 0.55, its opposite is going to be minus 0 0.55. 2, 2, 3rds, its opposite is going to be minus 2 thirds. Because the distance in the number line from 0 
is still going to be the same one. So 2 2 thirds and minus 2 2 thirds are each going to be the exact, exact, the exact same distance away from 0. So you just have to take that into account. Let's look at this. How do we even know if two numbers are opposite? Well, first of all, they need to have the same absolute value as we saw before. And second of all, they have opposite signs, right? So if we have a number, it can be a fraction, like for example, two divided by three, its opposite is going to be minus two thirds. If we have a negative number, for example, minus 95.4, its opposite is going to be the same number, but the opposite sign. So in this case, positive 95.4. Because you can see that they have both checks. So they have the same absolute value. The absolute value of two thirds is two thirds, and the absolute value of minus two thirds is also two thirds. And the same thing goes for 95.4. And of course, they have opposite signs. So for plus two thirds, we have minus two thirds. And the contrary here, minus 95.4, the opposite being positive 95.4. What do I do with this information? Well, let's tackle a challenge. Okay, guys, in this part of the video, feel free to pause the video and try solving these simple problems on your own or try going back to seeing the concepts of opposite numbers and then try challenging yourself doing these problems. If you want to continue watching the video, let's begin now. Okay, so the opposite of the following rational numbers. Again, if we want to find the opposite number of 12, we just have to write the same number, which is 12, but in this case, we have a positive 12. Now we're down a negative 12. So negative 12 is the opposite of positive 12. For negative 34, the exact same logic. We write down the same number, 34, but because it was negative, now we write it down as a positive. So the opposite of negative 34 is plus 34 or positive 20, 34. Now we have 81 divided by 133. Even if it's a complex fraction, we already know that it's positive so the opposite it has to be negative and again the same exact number so the opposite of 81 on top of 133 is the same number with the negative sign and the same logic applies to negative 2.09 so it's going to be positive 2.09 so guys just remember Understanding opposite numbers basically consists on knowing the definition, knowing the concept of absolute value, and understanding that it's the same number, but with a different sign. So guys, I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Check out these other videos to improve your math skills. And make sure you click that subscribe button to make the community grow. Follow OmathGod in its social media accounts. Drop a like, a comment below, and see you on the next one. Bye.